Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys a new project pan that I'm going to be doing. So I've never talked about project pans on here before, but I actually do them over on my Instagram. So I'll link that over here so you can go follow me there. But I decided to do this one here because I've been seeing um, a lot of other YouTubers talk about theirs. And I think it would be cool to do a body care project pan while I'm in quarantine, I know I won't be wearing as much makeup as I usually am, and most of my project pans are about makeup, so I figured it would be nice to commit myself to do some stuff around my body care collection. So if you're interested in seeing my new Bath & Body Works project pan, that's what I'm naming it, um, then just keep watching. So starting off, I'm going to show you guys what's already in my shower, and basically, um, shower gels i only have two right now so i'm not really too worried about them but the two that i do have are winter holiday scents so i do kind of want to use them up and finish them before either the semi-annual sale haul or before not haul either before the semi-annual sale or before fall because i usually like to get some new scents around fall and winter so the first thing that I have is my Champagne Toast Shower Gel. Just blended, you guys, sorry. I don't know how I never liked or smelt Champagne Toast before this past year, but I got this in December of last year, and I absolutely love this scent. It is Pink Champagne Black Currant, Currant? Uh, Chambord, I don't know any of those words. Sparkling Nectarine and Sugared Musk. It, I really get the Champagne and Nectarine smell out of these two me out of this but it's just so fresh and like fruity it smells so good in the shower so I use this in the shower and then I'm going to try and finish up the body lotion that also goes along with it I try to get the body lotion and the shower gels to go together and I use them in combination so I'm gonna try to start using these two up so the next thing that I have is a, another body lotion and this is the Paris Amour body lotion this one is actually really old. I don't know if you guys remember the Paris scent line that they had. Well, of course, my neighbor is mowing his lawn right now. Cool. I remember the Paris Amour body collection that they used to have, and I used to love it, and my grandma would get me them, and it was so much fun. So I think I've had this for over three or four years, and I just need to use this up. So I'm going to be putting this in my bathroom next to my hand soap, so every time I wash my hands, I can put this on, because everyone's gonna have dry hands right now. So this will hopefully be on within the year. Next thing that is also in my shower is the Vanilla Bean Noel Body Scrub. I do really love this scrub, and Vanilla Bean Noel is my favorite holiday scent. I absolutely love it. The fragrance notes are fresh vanilla bean, sugar cookies, wh whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. I love the vanilla bean smell um, and pretty much everything they come out with, and this is no different. So I'm just going to be trying to finish it up. It's not, you know, like it's like I have that much any anyways, uh, but I want to finish it up. This next thing that I have is the Christmas Cookies Ultra Shea Body Cream. This one is so good. I love the smell of this. It is creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel wood. It smells so good. I've had this since maybe November or December, and I've just been using it every day since then. And my neighbor just saw me talking to my camera. Okay, next I have a travel size fragrance mist in Vanilla Bean Noel. So I've had, I think I've had this thing for three or four years, which is probably way too long. It's starting to get that like alcoholy scent, you know, when they go bad. And Vanilla Bean Noel is my favorite scent. So I'm totally fine to wear this every single day, even if it's not Christmas time, but I really do need to so I can use this up and it won't go bad on me. So. The next two things are two hand creams. So I'm gonna have one of these in my work bag and one of these in my purse. So the first one is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte and this will go in my bag at work. It's pretty much almost done. I maybe have like this much left, um, but I just need to finish it up. This is not my favorite scent. It was nice in the fall, but I don't, I don't know. I don't really like the pumpkin scents in body care. I like them in candles. 
so I'm not sure that I would get this again and I also don't really like the marshmallow scents either whether they're in candles or in body care so I'm just gonna finish this up and be done with it and then I also have twisted peppermint hand cream which I really love this and even my mom said she likes it and we used it like last week it smells more like like a breath mint than peppermint but it smells really good I don't mind using it so just gonna finish this up I also don't have a lot maybe like halfway of this one so so next we're moving on to candles I do have way too many candles and I've been slowly kind of getting through them in the past couple months I've maybe done like two a month so I'm giving myself that kind of goal so starting off we are we have the three wick peach candle from white barn this one smells really good and actually like I might <laughs> be really close to done with this I can't really tell this wick won't go anymore but these two do and they have for a while so I don't really know how much I have left of this but I don't usually like fruity scents and candles but this one was actually really good just because I think it's like only peach made with orange and tangelo essential oils so if it's like a very basic just one fruit then I'm good this one was good so I'm just gonna finish this one off it's a good like spring fresh candle and then the next one that I have is lavender marshmallow this one is pretty old and I think you can tell by the color discoloration that's going on there I did not like this candle at all when I first got it and I didn't really realize that you can like exchange at Bath and Body Works but I didn't do that with this one um, it is just says lavender and marshmallow okay well I figured out that I don't like marshmallow scents and I don't like lavender so I really don't like this candle but it's kind of it's like okay I'll just burn it for now to get rid of it and it, it's a nice spring scent um, so I'm just gonna try and get rid of this one and now I know that I don't like lavender and I don't like marshmallow so the next marshmallow scent that I have is vanilla pumpkin marshmallow now this one I don't really smell the marshmallow too much and I don't really smell the pumpkin it says it is um, Tahitian vanilla pumpkin spice homemade marshmallow and drizzled caramel this one kind of just smells like vanilla and marshmallow to me I don't get any pumpkin barely any caramel it is like a nice sweet scent and I do like sweet scents for the most part um, I really just like it because it has the vanilla in there and I'll just burn this at night and get through it pretty fast because it's just a single wick so hopefully I can finish those three up and add some more candles into this project pan so this will be rolling and as I finish things up I'll put more in um, this is just trying to, you know, use up what I have and remember that I can still take care of my body even if I'm not, you know, putting makeup on every day. I can still take care of my body and kind of enjoy these scents and also just kind of cycle through what is not in season anymore so I can buy stuff when the new season this year comes around. So if you enjoy this video, go ahead and give me a like, comment down below if you are also a Bath & Body Works stand like I am. Let me know if you are looking forward to the semi-annual sale this year. I probably will not be participating unless I finish up like everything in a category, like I might buy a body wash if I'm finished with this one and the Mary Cherry Tree that I have, but I probably won't be spending a lot there. Um, I'm just looking forward to fall, so. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!